Hey you guys, Georgie back. Welcome back to my channel, GSD with Georgie. Super excited today to talk to you guys all about how to set up a Remo event. I have done a tutorial before about what Remo is. You could check that out in the description. I've included my larger overview of the Remo platform. Today's video though is just gonna be simply how to set up the event in general. So if you already have a Remo account, what you wanna do is log in and it's going to bring you to log in into your account since i'm already inside of my account it's going to load up automatically once you're inside of your account if you have a paid profile you'll then select create event and then inside of creating event you can do all of these things you can select an event cover image title of the event so let's put sample and then you could select the time of the event based on the Remo account that you have. That's how, that is what's gonna determine how long you have the, the event space for and how long you could have the event. Most people get the director plan, which allows you for up to two and a half hours. So let's say it's 2 p.m. and then it's gonna end at 3 p.m. or 3.30. Then you could put a tagline, best event ever. Uh, and then you could put some descriptions and you know, you can make it fancy my event let's populate that fill out that information and you go on over to the speaker section here is where you could add the speakers beforehand and if you have more than four speakers i would suggest probably not doing this beforehand the reason why is going to come in another video that explains how to put attendees on stage and i'll just explain a little bit here but if you have the speakers inv invited beforehand when you are in presentation mode on remo the speakers have access to turn on their camera and their mic at any time versus if you have them come on stage as an attendee then you have more control over when they are on stage versus when they are not so we'll talk about that in another video so you can invite your speakers again recommended doing this if you have less than four speakers then you select your floor plan. If you have a custom floor plan that's uploaded in your account, I have a small custom floor plan there, or you could use one of the Remo floor plans. You could pick this color scheme, purple, red, blue. Then you select the amount of sponsors. Again, this will change based on what kind of account you have, as well as the expected attendee count. Again, another thing that will change based on how many attendees you have in the space. Then if you wanna add a Vimeo, YouTube, or Twitch video, that would live at the left billboard, you could do so. And then the right billboard, most people use this as the agenda. And then, you know, you know, thing one, thing two, thing three. And then you head on over the onboard. You could put like a custom message or a video. Here's one of my colleagues really quickly. Um, and you could enable a custom welcome message or just use the Remo one. So let's hit save and publish. And now the event is saved, I could copy the link or I could also view the event landing page to see what it looks like for the attendees. So you could view the event landing page from the attendee side. So when the attendees come on, they'll see this page, the little image. And again, you could change out this image for an, a photo you prefer. They'll see the title of the event. They'll see what devices that they need, the time, the little countdown, and then they can hit join the event now so that they could get registered for the event and then be put on the emailing list so they'll be notified when the event starts. They see the small description that you made and they can also share it on social or copy the link and share it that way. So this is the page your attendees will see. As an event organizer now, you still, you're not done. You have a few things to do. So when you come back to your home page, you wanna click this little pencil, um, hover over the icon and click the pencil and you come add the speakers and you can see the speaker list your floor plan, um, you could copy this link to promote the event. You could add sponsors. So if I selected the sponsors here, change the floor plan, then I'll add the sponsors in. And in another video, I show you exactly how to create the sponsorship banners, but we could, re we could review what's needed for the sponsors. So you need to have the sponsor name, logo, uh, a graphic or an image could be placed here. So whether it's an image video link or um, an image you could upload, call to action button, call to action link, location of, of the sponsor banner on the map, and then you simply create sponsor, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Leave without changing, promoting, registration. So this will let you know how many people have registered. Onboarding again, the little thing that you see. Broadcast, so you could either connect it to YouTube Live, or and you could also have an interactive Q&A on the platform. 
and this is where you catch the post event. So, you know, you could make go in and make changes up until the event starts. So that is how you create an event on the Remo platform. Thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you next time on another GSD with Georgie video. Have a good one, doers.